So if you have a baby, you have probably heard of the Ferber method. And today we're gonna break down what it is and my true thoughts on it as a sleep consultant. So hi, my name is Jensen Casey. I am a certified pediatric sleep consultant, certified postpartum doula and mom of three. And I take real sleep science and real life strategies and bring them together to get you sleeping through the night. If you have never heard about the Ferber method, I'm going to explain it. The Ferber method is a very, very popular method method of sleep training that is basically a leave and check. It details out in great detail, it's a really great method, exactly when to provide check-ins for your child. And these check-ins are very specific times that you would do each and every night until your child falls asleep. And the method progresses. So at first the check-ins start at very small amounts and they progressively get longer and longer as the night goes on and as the subsequent nights go on. I'm not into, gonna go into detail of exactly what to do night by night, but you really need to follow it to a T to be able to see the success you want to see. But that is the same with any method. Any method of sleep training that you do, you really need to consistently do it. What the Ferber method is, it is essentially a leave and check method where you're putting your child into their crib, leaving the room, coming in to do checks periodically at very specific times for a duration of about seven nights before you're expected to see your child start to sleep through the night. The difference between the Ferber method and cry it out is you come in and provide some support. So there's kind of three like buckets of sleep training methods that you can choose to follow. So the first and most extreme would be a cry it out method. That essentially is where you put your child into the crib, say goodnight to them, you walk out of the room and you do not see them again until the morning. The second bucket would be where Ferber falls. This is the leave and check. There are a couple of different variations of the Ferber method that people have created throughout time, but really Really, this is a leave and check where you put your child into the crib, leave the room, but then you're coming back in to provide support and to check in on them between your periods of leaving their room. So it's not strictly a cry it out where you just leave the room and do not see them again until morning. It's kind of the middle ground in between all of the sleep training methods. Then the most gentle, or I should say the one that has the most support is this kind of last bucket over here where you're staying in the room with their child. You're picking them up and putting them down. You're staying in the room with them and providing them support as they're falling asleep to then leave the room after they have already fallen asleep. It's really the Ferber is a nice like middle ground for the parents that kind of want to do a little bit more like official sleep training. They really want their child to be able to gain these skills in a quick amount of time, but they also want to be there to support them so they themselves don't feel like they're just abandoning their child and just leaving them to the wolves to be able to figure it out all on their own. If you did the Ferber method, pop it in the comments below. I'm so curious to know kind of right now it seems the parenting trend is really responsive parenting we're there for our children we're providing them with a ton of support we may not even be sleep training because we may be feeling like that isn't supportive enough so I'd love to know if you did the Ferber method and how that worked for your family because it is a still extremely popular method I would love to know the statistics on like how many families are actually still doing the Ferber method so if you did pop it below in the comments as a sleep consultant my true thoughts, I really like the Ferber method. The way that it is written out in its entirety really does provide support to the child, but it also gives them a chance to be able to have some time alone to be able to develop these skills that we are having them work on, where sometimes some children having that support of a parent in the room, and kind of like looking over their shoulder, they're just waiting for their parent to be able to do something or respond in some way. So they're not actively trying to get themselves to sleep. They're more concerned with what everybody else is doing and it's actually prohibiting them from being able to fall asleep. If you have a child that always interested and engaged and trying to pull other people in, trying to talk to them, trying to engage with them, it may be better for you to do a method like the Ferber method where your child has some alone time in their crib so they can get used to being on their own, trying to pull up these skills, but with the support and facilitation of a parent that's still coming in to provide that in between the times that they're trying to get themselves to sleep. If they are trying to get themselves to sleep, wonderful, but if they need a little
little bit more support, they need a little bit more coaching, then the Ferber method has that built in a methodology where they can come in and provide that support in a way that still follows the method exactly. And it's not their parent kind of just jumping in and doing their own thing and trying to figure out how a check-in would work with the method that they're provided. So if that is your child, the Ferber method would be a great method to use. Again, I really like this method and have seen so much success with families that are using it. But if that does not feel like the right method or the way to go for your family, please know that there are so many more options. If you go to the pinned video in my channel, it's going to talk all about how to do sleep training without crying it out. That does not mean that there will be no tears, but this way, it's a very, very gentle method that's gonna teach you about the differences in crying and how you can use that to your advantage when you're sleep training. So again, if you have used the Ferber method, pop it in the comments. I love it. I recommend using it as a sleep consultant, but if you are still struggling, if you have used it and it didn't feel like a great method to you, or you have used it, but you need a little bit more support, then be sure to like and follow this video, follow my channel for more tips, or feel free to reach out so we can work directly together to meet your goals of having your child sleep to the night. I'll see you in the next video.